Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Ultra Moon. My name is Rabbit Luigi. In the last episode, we completed the normal trial in the Verdant Cavern. Has it got a more name for that? Better name for that? A trial against uh, an, Al <laughs> an Alone Eraticate, who was very large, very strong. We kind of came through it reasonably okay in the end. And now we've got the Normalium Z, which you can see on the screen in the in kind of the middle right of the of the overlay, which is quite handy. I, I like I like the overlay. Massive massive uh, thanks to Toxisquid for for making it. Very I like it. Uh, what we what we've done by doing that is is allow us to go through here, which kind of gives us access to the rest of the island, which is handy. But we've also got to find Lily because she she ran away or something. I've got to part. I've got to hurt all of you, don't I? No, no, that sounds weird. I've got to like defeat. There's, there's certain trainers in this generation who are at the start or the end of a route who you can only fight if you've beaten everyone else on this path, or everyone else on this route, rather. And I always forgot about them. I always kind of just went through a route and just had a lot of fun doing that and completely forgot that there was something waiting for me at the end. So that's nice. I have a plan. It's a very impressive plan. Really important plan. I have a plan to get a second Pokemon. More, more than my Inkay get a second Pokemon in this Let's Play, this episode, on this second half of the island, because I would like it so that we're actually increasing our team somewhat, because Inkay is effectively a placeholder, not much more than that. I don't want to be mean to him, because he's he's pretty good. Inkay is a good Pokemon, but also I don't really want to use it. Quick Claw! Goddamn, Quick Claw's amazing. I, I have a big fan, of, I'm a really big fan of it. My my volume in my headphones, I've only just noticed and I'm doing something about it. It's very loud. I, I have a way of, you know, fiddling with that. I should probably do something about that. Hopefully. I mean, it's not really the case, but in the second half of this uh, island, you do notice it. As a pace of game, it does speed up. Each Pokemon possesses an ability. Understanding these well leads to victory. You're gonna have an obnoxious ability, aren't you? Like Intimidate or something. But I've noticed, or not noticed, but Rowlet at the age, the age, <laughs> oh no. Rowlet at level 17 evolves, okay? It doesn't matter, or it does matter. I got a Psyduck in front of me who's weak to grass type and my headphones kind of sort of sit on my head. I can make them bigger, can't I? They might be actually at max, at max size. Let me see if I can do this. Uh, they're at max size. Wow, okay. I mean, they do fit on my head, but I'm trying to leave one of my ears exposed so that I can hear myself talk, which is quite important so that I'm not really shouting into the microphone and, you know, causing problems for everyone trying to hear or anything. I don't fucking care. Is it psychic? I don't know. I'm going to put ominous wind on it because... The idea of a Rowlet using something called Ominous Wind, which is a very, very scary move, which is very scary things. It's not actually that strong, but I like it. Um, you know, Rowlet isn't particularly ominous. As an adjective to describe him, I wouldn't do that. He couldn't show off the abilities. I presume it had, like, Cloud Nine or something, but I'm not sure how you'd ever be able to show this off. Cloud Nine reduces weather effects. It's uh, a Pokeball I need. Basically... Once we get more than one Pokemon, which we're going to use going on in this game, it's going to, everything's going to make a bit more sense. My overlay is going to look a little bit less sparse because, you know, when you start a new new Pokemon Let's Play, your team is small and you, you need more you need more help. Do you have a preferences about the type of moves in addition to the type of Pokemon? Not really. Um, I would say the type of Pokemon would probably be Alola. I know a lot of people want me to use things that aren't Alola, but... I'll only do it if it becomes, <clears throat> I'll only do it if this game becomes very, very difficult, and my hope is that it doesn't, and, you know, you got grass Pokemon and fiery f Pokemon, we can find them in, in normal gameplay. I was actually thinking of getting, not one of them, but a Pokemon with those exact same, uh, type cover, type, type coverage, type combination, basically. I've actually, I have looked ahead, I haven't picked out a nickname for the Pokemon I want to catch on this island, so a little bit of that is in suspense, that I may have to think of it up on the spot based on gender, or anything that seems mildly appropriate. Can I, can I touch? I can touch moves without even looking at my, my 3DS. I have to look down and maybe that affects the, kind of, <laughs> the angle in which I'm talking at my microphone. If I sort of do it from down low, you can't hear me as well. So, it's a directional microphone. It's very good in one direction and the other ones, it's not so good. There are settings you can change so it becomes better in, in another direction, but, you know, not really. So anyway, not important. Where are we on this island, by the way? I'm gonna get all the way to the other side, try not to fight too many Pokemon, but there's a Pokeball in here, and there's flying Pokemon. I like that feature, by the way. I've just noticed how many flying Pokemon there are, but... I like the fact that you can find Pokemon in the wild with more regularity through something like that. Is this where we can do it? This might be where we can do it. Oh, is this Mele Mele Meadow? Oh, it might be. 
This is also where Lily is, which is kind of handy for the story, but... Also not really why I'm here. She's very concerned. Did you lose Nebby in the... You did, actually. Okay. Nebby! Nebby, come back! You lost it in the meadow, it's so hard to find. Ah, rabbit. Uh, Nebby, it got out of my bag again. Just get a padlock. Get a padlock, lock it in. It's not inhuman or something. It's all the way over there. Fuck's sake! Okay. I'm not angry. I'm just slightly angry. But why would it want to go into that cave? And right after it got into so much trouble on the bridge, too. What if a wild Pokemon attacks it? It doesn't have any moves that can use in battle. Everyone does. It has struggle if it doesn't. And that seems crazy. So, the good news... Don't. Uh, if you want to train your Pokemon, we're going to have to use uh, Roto XP points. Hmm. No. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this now? Why are you doing this now? I don't know why you're doing this now. Bit weird. Hopefully... In this meadow, we can find the Pokemon I want. I'm not sure if we will. Let's find out. Is it this one? It is this one! Here you go! Oricorio! What a great Pokemon! I've never used it! It is a very interesting Pokemon. They only appear in the meadows, and they change appearance and type coverage based on... Uh, I forget what type it is. I know it's flying, which is kind of good, so this shouldn't kill it, but... It changes its type coverage based on its appearance and wherever you take it in the game. And luckily for me, it actually fills a very nice niche. Can I just throw a ball at it and be done with it, rather than having to screw around with, oh no, is it quite the right uh, amount of strength? We have 15 Great Balls. Why have we got 15 Great Balls? How many Pokemon do you think I'll be catching at this point, game? I don't know. Probably is enough. Also, it's yellow. I don't want it to be yellow, but I can't change that at the moment, so it's going to be yellow for a little while. So... I didn't see what gender it was either, so I don't really know what I'm going to call it. But it gave me, gives me enough experience to evolve, which is quite fun. Lots of things happening really early on. Damn. All this, all this let's play with no progress, and then suddenly here's every bit of progress you could ever wish for. Damn. Blathers is actually going to become, like, way less cute. Like, way, incredibly, so much less, I mean, the evolve form's good. Don't get me wrong, but... It's not as good as Rowlet. Rowlet's a, a wholesome individual. This is slightly smugger. Or more smug. He's very pleased to be here. A Dartrix. But I don't love him as much as my Rowlet. I'm sorry. He's kind of... He has charm to him, but he does not have a cute factor to him. I'm sorry. I'm not going to insult Dartrix too much. But he should be stronger now. So there's always that to look to. And, you know, it's kind of, you know, good blade quill supremely sensitive to the presence of others. Aren't we all, my friend? Tell me more about your plight. Anyway, not important. Oricario now! So, depending on the, uh... gender is probably what I'll do this from. I want the red version, because the red version becomes part fire type, and currently I have no way of, uh... really... I, I don't really have much of a way of having that type incorporated by my team, so... Let me just remember what I was going to call it. In truth, I always knew what I was going to call it, but I just wanted to check the spelling because I've seen it spelt both ways. I guess it depends on... Oh, shit. Uh, oh, I'm going to get my... <laughs> I'm so getting my stylus out. Hang on. I, I guess it depends on, like, uh, your, your grasp of the English language. There is two T's to Scarlet. It looks weird because it's yellow, <laughs> but it's going to look red eventually. I forget which island it has to go to for it to be red as well. How long is it going to be not red? I don't know, but there's this, which is the this stuff, yellow nectar. So I think that turns, you have to pick it up to turn Oricorio from any other color into yellow. That might be how that works, but I don't really, I don't really mind. Here's a Flabebe. It's kind of a fun Pokemon, but I don't really, I don't really care. But here's Dartrix. Looks amazing. I approve. Okay, so I've done the research and it appears that, well... For a start, Oricorio, or Scarlet, as I shall call it now, is yellow, which means it's an electric flying type, fair enough. I want the red version, which means we have to go to Ula Ula Island, which is the second island, third island, bro, so I, I knew it was third, I knew it was third all the time. Gotta go to the third island, and only then can we make it red, which is the type I want. I'm not sure if there's anything in the way until then, I think there might be a challenge which requires fire types. It might be quite good to have a fire type by then in the way until then. That could be a bit annoying, but, you know, it's kind of a problem. Personally, I'm annoyed that I've never used one before, because they're really- they're a really cool Pokémon. Like, the fact that you have this kind of, uh, these options, that you can catch one- you can catch one every single playthrough you do, and focus on a different type, and every single playthrough will be different. It looks a little bit terrifying in this form, in the pom-pom form. Like, the eyes look slightly psychotic in a way, 
I'm getting boosted experience points. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really think I need it. I mean, I got XP share on, for God's sake, so what What? What more do you want? Motherfucking Nebby. Really being really annoying. Don't, don't leave. You're mine. You're mine now. Don't leave. Uh, an elusive target indeed! Hmm, it's me again. You forgot about me. Hmm, Soliera, test this one. I would also like to check the functionality of that Pokeball we tried making in the image of the devices used by these Alolan Pokemon. Now that we have at least succeeded in using one to capture an Alolan Pokemon specimen, hmm, yes sir, I will do it, I will do so at once. So you're gonna fight me? Okay, sure. I'm still not sure what these people are, they seem like robots. Like, kind of robots. You might actually be a robot, now, now I get a close up look. I mean, you've got normal human hair, but everything else is a bit weird. And they got fur foods, which is kind of kind of awesome. But like, <laughs> I can't. I people wanted me to do a a a. They wanted to, yeah. They wanted me to add a filter to my voice, like I do for other things, and make them into robots. I'm not sure they are robots. Has that got increased priority? I feel like it might do. That could be a, an issue. But I don't think they are robots. I think they're just kind of. Oh, that did like no damage at all. Okay. Uh, I don't think they are robots, but I think they are kind of very confused individuals. I'm gonna bring out Inke, because Inke might be good here. Not sure about anything else, but... Like, I don't know their stance. I don't know... I, I, I'm presuming we're gonna find out their role in the story. I would... From a distance, I would presume they are bad guys, because they are very unusual. And also, foul play doesn't really care about what my attack is. It cares about what your attack is. I don't think in relation to my attack, it's not like if my attack is really low compared to yours. But if yours is good, it does more damage. But it's kind of Psywave, I think. It's <laughs> maybe the order of the day. I'm not doing a lot of damage. Furfu's a really good Pokemon, by the way. I never really used it. Furfu's a really good Pokemon. I never really used it in Kalos. But it's got, like, this ability, which means it's got crazy, like, double the defense it actually has or something. Like, I forget what it's called. Psywave, though. Interesting move. Does a lot more damage than you think, baby. And, uh, yeah, Furfu is like a single evolution Pokemon. Which might make you think that you probably don't want one. Getting that Orin Berry. I knew I gave it to it for a reason! It's not gonna give me that much health, but as long as I don't get flinched, there you go. Uh, I kind of, if I ever did a Let's Play of X and Y, I'd probably use one. Because they're very, very interesting Pokemon. I had to, I had to take some evasive actions with my, uh, my Pokemon choices in this, uh, fight. I had to really think about what I was gonna throw at, at what, at what point. I got two levels off of that. I don't need XP boosting, because I'm pretty, I'm not gonna say I'm really strong, but I'm pretty decent. Topsy Turvy. Part of the many moves that, uh, Inke has as, uh, opposite. That's actually gonna be, yes. I'd like to return to move selection. I'd like to get rid of, I'll get rid of Swagger, because I don't know why I got rid of whatever I did to get Swagger, because Swagger's kind of a terrible move. It's it's very unreliable as a move. Look at all these, look at this experience, like, god damn! We don't need XP boost. Everyone's done, everyone's got a level. Scarlet's gonna be strong, and eventually red at some point. Fighting together with your Pokémon, it is not something we had considered ourselves. So what did you just do? Did you just throw it out and say, you know, kill that guy? Fucking, I don't care. It's very weird. Um, I see! So that is what a Pokemon battle is! Hmm! I suppose if there are strong tra strong trainers like yourself around, we may not may, we may not need to pay, play any great role in this endeavor. Hmm. So then why do we need to bother with the girl, I assume? Hmm. I don't know. I'm very strange. That one you have come to collect! You must know that it is able to warp away in an instant when threatened! You should remember, though, that the holes that are created when it does so leave a path open to dangerous beings! Hmm. Alola, human! Goodbye, human! <laughs> I don't know. They are sure- they sure are entertaining, though. It appears my XP boost is- is running out. That's okay. Let's go back to where we need to go. They did say something very interesting about how when it needs to warp back, which is not what we did, interestingly. It creates holes, and that was a, an interesting thing in the first game. Oh, you! Motherfucking Nebby! Causing problems! Thank you, Rabbit. Can I have a, like, healing or something? And I should thank Dartix, too. Here, let me at least do this. Give me that healing. Juicy healing! Yeah! Like it. Big fan. Uh, you know, I read something interesting in a book once. It seems the Pokemon called Oricorio changes appearance by feeding on the nectar from different types of flowers. Damn straight! It's not its not actually evolving, but undergoing a so-called form change. Isn't that interesting? I thought it was, anyway. Damn. I think it is interesting. I, I personally agree with you. Don't put yourself down all that time. Back into the bag, please, Nebby. And lock that shit! I know there aren't many people around to see you here, but that's hardly an excuse. And I guess we should be going now. The professor will probably be worried after the way we just disappeared on him. So you you lose Nebby, you chase after Nebby, and then the people who are supposed to be looking after you, they lose you. 
It's not much better. Hey, Rabbit! Oh, and Lily's with you too! Uh, <laughs> so many different voices. What are you up to, Hal? Uh, just finished up my trial, huh? Huh, I don't know. Hey, Rabbit! Wait, I want to see if you really learn anything from my trial. I want to see if I really learned anything from my trial. Let me battle you again. This is good that she healed us in between. Otherwise, we'd be in a lot of trouble right now. Because, you know, Hal's not crazy strong. But he is stronger than most things we've just done. So, it's uh, not deceptive. But, in a way, it's deceitful a little bit. To, to just suddenly throw into a battle. If this was a normal Pokemon game. Or really, a standard RPG. They would say, hey, you've just done something quite difficult. How about we give you more problems? Everyone has fucking baby doll's eyes, which I think has speed priority, which is kind of really annoying. This means I don't kill you in one shot. Maybe. Razor Leaf might be special. It probably is special, but <laughs> I don't know. For a while, before I had a little break from Pokemon, I used to know every single, like, every, I used to know every, what every special physical split was. I used to play Pokemon an awful lot in my in my free time, but I think the post-game or really the end of the original Sun and Moon kind of made me not care as much. So let's go to Scarlet, because Noib Noibat is normal flying, I think, or maybe dragon flying, because it's a pre-evolution of Noivern, and it's not very it's not very strong. It's adorable though. I too would I would too would like one, but unfortunately we're not having Pokemon from outside of Alola, so sorry about that one, it's not gonna happen. Supersonic, get the fuck- go, go home. Go, go home, Hal. Don't, don't bring those dastardly tactics into this fight. Instead, my, my Scarlet Shawl, randomly, use the pom-poms. I'm gonna see, probably not for the next, the rest of this episode and the next two, which is my recording session, basically, but I think after that I might try and trade a Pokemon to this game from a previous game, which is holding a red nectar, because then I can get a red Oricorio without, you know, without having to worry about things. Let's bring out Inke. Everyone shall be used, everyone shall be strong. Even Inke, who I care not that much about, but, you know, he's a pretty cool Pokemon. I like him. He's just not part of my team. He's a stand-in. He's a substitute. The substitute teacher we need. Uh, I'll go Psywave. I like Psywave, man. It's such a random move. I don't know. Like, I see it used in other Pokemon games, and you're like, wow, it just does random things, and that's kind of cool. Also, Pikachu, and I, th I know Pikachu has done this ever since he's become a 3D entity, but the fact that he now has a Pokemon Cry, more of the anime than, uh, that's pretty strong, more of the anime than what it was before, which was some strange sound. I kind of like that. It seems very pandering, but I, I still kind of like that. Oh man, I want to show off my Pokemon's best side more. Well... Sorry about that. I'm the I'm the asshole rival, apparently. That's what I've been getting from people telling me about it, but I'm sorry, maybe. So you and me both beat that totem Pokemon, huh, Rabbit? How? Like, I mean, that's, that's your name, but how? Because it was... It, did, did, did it get healed up or something? I don't know. Looks like we're getting pretty strong. Or did he fight the other one? Which, in Ultra Sun, is a other thing. I've got gumshoes. It's gumshoes. Uh, and I'm not stopping now. I'm And I'm not stopping now. I'm going to use this momentum to beat my old Gramps, too. Because that's what we have to do. Uh, hey there, rabbit! Knew I could count on you, yeah! Kukui's here. Thanks for, Thanks for tracking Lily down for me! Uh, what's this then? How? You finish your trial, your first trial too? I bet you use some styling moves, yeah? <laughs> Very terrifying. <laughs> yeah, all thanks to Poplio. Who does some styling moves? Harlow's probably running, rubbing his hands together in glee right about now. Oh yeah! <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I don't think anybody knows what he means. It's all part of the trials, yeah? After you clear one one island's trials, you got to bat battle that island's kahuna. Or, yeah, whatever. Uh, taking on the island kahuna is in, tr in battle is called the Grand Trial. For someone like me who's researching Pokemon moves, nothing could be better than the chance to see some more fierce Pokemon battles. Woo! I don't know, I don't know about fierce. Uh, I'll be I'll be the judge of that. Come on, back to t back to Tiki Tiki Town, Iki Town. Catch that tailwind and blast through Route Three. Indeed, you're a madman. But I wish I was more like you. It's crazy. So the Rotom. I don't know why it activated that XP boost. It didn't need to. This is, by the way, a guy who will only fight you, maybe. Uh, Roost. You gonna teach me about Roost? Oh, here you go. So, he might- he'll show me a Pokemon team that uses Roost a lot, only if I defeat every trainer in Route 3. Which, luckily, I'm quite good at. Unfortunately, no- oh, they did heal me. That's kind of kind. They didn't even tell me, but- <laughs> I was gonna say, like, I'd have to go to a Pokemon Center or something, or- or have a problem with, you know, trainers. You a trainer? You are not a trainer. See this place during the day, I have to play this game at a different point in time, different time of the day. 
I don't know if I can do that. No, you're not a Pokemon trainer either. You're just gonna give me random shit. Give me a Sooth Bell. Which I think means that wild Pokemon are less likely to... Mate, no, that's a different thing. It means that Pokemon like me more, which is actually its own... It's a different meter this time around, or it was in X and Y. I remember so much from X and Y, clearly, but the fact that... Like, friendship and how much a Pokemon likes you is different to how Pokemon and me works, which is actually Pokemon Refresh in this game. I preferred it when it was called Pokemon, Pokemon and me, because that was a joke and a pun. And I can get alongside that after a while, but, you know, a little tricky sometimes. I can't really remember how much we've got to do before we fight Hal as part of the, the grand battle, the grand thing at the end of this, uh, this trial, this route or something. So I think I'll, I'll beat everyone on Route 3, I will fight the trainer at the start, and then maybe call it an episode. What's this shit? Island Challenge Marker. I mean, you might find more than meets to the eye. Is that part of the Island Challenge? Or just a part of something? Now, I've heard from many people, many people indeed, that what I could be doing in this pot of- I think it is this, uh, patch of grass roughly here. You can find a Bagon in this, uh, in this patch of grass, and eventually, after a period of time, he will SOS call for a Salamence. You can get a level 10 Salamence on the first island of this game, which is a little bit insane. And people were like, hey, you like Salamence, you probably do that. And you're damn right, I did that on Pokemon Sun when I originally played that. My reluctance to do it now is more based on the fact that I don't want to have non-Alola Pokemon. It sounds like a, a sort of cheap way out of having to spend so long trying to find a Salamence, because it's not easy. You have to hope for like a 1% chance of it appearing, which is kind of ridiculous really, but I don't really want to do it, because I, I would prefer a team full of Alolan, Alolan Pokemon, so that's basically what I'm going with. Uh, find the, find the potions. Oh, find the potions. Get back there. Okay. Give me some, give me some healing, because I think we may have fought everybody on this route. I'm going to fight the guy who has the roost battle to teach me, I guess, and then we'll go from there. So at some point, uh, Oracorio learns a specific move, which is then changed when it changes form, it changes type when it changes form, so I don't know when that is, but until then, it knows no electric moves, which is a little concerning. Yes, I've done them. Calm repose? Let's have a fight. Let's have a- let's have a brawl. I can't remember the- I was gonna have a quote from Cuphead, but I can't remember anything from Cuphead. Game's a blow, in my mind. That's fine. Ace trainers know what they're doing, though. So it's good practice, <clears throat> and a good warm-up, for next episode, when we're probably going to fight someone a bit stronger, and a bit older, and maybe has more Pokémon, I'm not sure. I would like a red Oracorio. Damn, that's quite strong. Okay. Let's go. Let's see how it does. Slowpoke's quite slow by the name. Peck does no damage whatsoever. <clears throat> <coughs> not good. Uh, let's change some things up. Otherwise, we're going to have problems, and... You know, it's a bit late in the episode for problems, and I don't- I don't want to have problems. Not really. Should be good against, uh, Slowpoke. I mean, what are you gonna do? Confusion? How did you know I was gonna switch? That's like the one move you can use against me, which might do something a little bit better than nothing. I don't know. Razor Leaf, baby. Does Razor Leaf have an increased- does it have an increased critical rate? Or am I thinking of something completely different? I don't know. I feel like it should do more often. It should do- it should do criticals more often. Effectively. But... I don't see it. I don't see... I see the... I see the, the appeal. I definitely see the appeal. Just don't see much more than that. I don't know. Level level 19. Am I overpowered yet? Probably. I got Foresight. I don't really need Foresight. Foresight's not a bad move. It's just I don't care about it, okay? Getting, getting XP for other people, though. Air Cutter. Air Cutter's actually really good. Is it special? It's special. So we'll get rid of Growl, because maybe Peck is a physical... I'm thinking way too much about this. I'm always thinking like different uh, RPG moves, or different, different structures to different RPGs about how, oh no, uh, don't switch moves, you know, oh no, I have to have a physical and a special move just in case I encounter a Pokemon of each version, but that's not really much of an issue, I could maybe have switched Pokemon to uh, my flying type that now just earned a re learned a really powerful flying type move, but oh well, a bit late for that now, isn't it, Silverwind, oh yeah, you're a grass type, oh, I am a grass type. Oh god, and you've got one of them as well! Oh no! Maybe I should use, uh... Something which is giving me- it's gonna be... Hairy, I feel. Oh, you got Roost! I was gonna say, like, why have you got a- Why have you got a Slowpoke? If you're gonna teach me about how Roost works, and how it's a wonderful move, like... I don't really know why you do that. 
I know why you do it as a strategy now, because you get Silver Wind, which increases your your everything. And then, uh, you know, you heal, ba heal it back up, and you know, now you're stronger. I can't kill you quickly. It's kind of annoying. I'm gonna switch Pokemon, I feel, because maybe a better idea? Silver Wind is a, uh, it's a bug move, which means I might have a chance as a Flying-type Pokemon. I don't know. Slightly risky? Not really. Near the end of the episode. Episode's actually gone on for a little bit longer than I would have liked, because we, we, we threw this battle in at the end. More as- Oh my. That was not very effective, they said. That's what they said, wasn't it? Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's what happens. One, one Silver Wind boost is like, oh god. It's also a fully evolved Pokemon Battle 3, which might explain why it did so much damage. Like shit, son. Butterfreeze. Causing problems, taking names. Kicking ass. Might actually be a good idea to use Foul Play, because it's got stronger attack power now. It doesn't do a lot of damage anymore. Kind of awkward Pokemon to take down. Just using Roost all the time. That's fine. Come back when you're going to use something else a bit more exciting than that. Could be a long time till then. You're just gonna, can I get a critical hit? Critical hits would just ruin you. Probably kill him, actually, because they, they ignore stat changes. This is going to do a lot of damage. Like, quite a lot of damage. I'd like a Quick Claw next turn, please. Or a Critical Hit. That felt almost like a Critical Hit. Can I have a Quick Claw? Quick Claw, help me. Oh, you just keep doing the roosts! Makes the, makes the episode much more exciting, much longer, much more content for the YouTube people to enjoy and to taste, and it tastes good, the extra content. I just want, just want a Quick Claw. We find time for it. Nope, that's fine. Okay. To my next Pokemon. <laughs> this is why we have three Pokemon early on. Damn. Strong Pokemon. Not gonna, not gonna beat around the bush for that one, but Foul Play, I think, takes into account stat changes, I feel? Let's find out, baby. We've also got, um, Psywave, which isn't actually- Oh god, we're- Oh god, we're four times weak! Oh no! <laughs> oh, I forgot! Oh no! Well, at least it was the last Pokemon. God damn, well, there's a- There's a bombshell to end the episode off on. Where are we gonna go back to? Quite far away, I feel. Like, the other side of that route. That's kind of awkward. Um... That's my fault. I got too cocky. But at least we know. God damn. Well, this has been Rabbit Luigi. This has been Let's Play Pokemon Ultra Moon. In the next episode, I'm gonna go fight Hala, I think. I might have to do some grinding, just because I'm a little weak and, you know, Butterfree kicked my ass. And Butterfree probably shouldn't be kicking your ass at any point in time. It's not that good. It's kind of good, but it's not that good. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.